What's going on, guys, and welcome to the first Grand Crossing podcast titled The Grand Podcast. I know, very creative title, uh, and uh, this is going to be really cool and an interesting experience because I've never done a podcast before, and I decided to try it out. So uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing these sunglasses. I'm wondering that same thing. I have no good answer for that, but other than I decided to, and that's what I ended up doing. So let's uh, let's begin. And in this one, I'm going to go all the way to the beginning of my time in the TNI and work my way up till now, I guess. Uh or maybe just the beginning. This is I'm going to start at the beginning, work my way up to this point over the next few episodes. Uh, but today we're going to start at the very beginning with uh, with how I got started in the TNI. So let's see, four or five years ago uh, was when I had my first encounter with the Grand Crossing. Back then, I was playing a lot of simulator games and stuff like that. And I got on, and I just thought, wow, it's one of these games again. Because back then, there was a lot of GUI on the screen. And I'm just like, oh, it's one of these games where you go on, and there's a whole bunch of GUIs just being like, buy this, buy that, you know? You know, that type of game. Uh, so I'm like, oh, it's this type of game, but I gave it a chance, and when I first joined in the game, I was at the Civ spawn, and I had no idea the map, uh, so I ran over and got a pickaxe, had no idea where the mines were, ran around a bit more, uh, got killed, and ended up leaving, because I'm like, well, this game doesn't seem very good. Fast forward three years to about... Two years ago. One year ago? No, no, it was. It was two years ago, and I didn't have my laptop at that point. I was playing on my cousin's laptop, and I ran into the game again. So I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a little bit more of a chance than I did last time. So I went, got a pickaxe, started mining. I got the... Uh, scraps around the map, which was, you know, the only way that I could make money at that point. And, uh, and then I decided, hey, I have extra group space, uh, let me join the TNI and see what it's all about. And back then, for those of you who are extremely new to Roblox... Uh, and new as in you weren't in the era of Builders Club, which was not too long ago because Premium only came out, what, end of last year? Uh, fall of last year? But uh, back then, you could only ha- be a part of five groups without buying Builders Club. So sacrificing a group space for TNI was a big deal. But I thought it had potential. So I joined up back then... No, they still had a, they still have a lot of people in their group. Um, so I joined and I'm like, hey, this is pretty cool. And I went in and I was a cadet. And then I ran around, not really knowing what I was doing. I think I went out of the border a few times uh, because, you know, I was a cadet. Because we, we've all been a cadet at one point or another. Hold on a sec. Yes, mom, I'm in the middle of recording. All right, where was I? Um, So I joined... uh, We're all cadets. We're all cadets when we start off. You know, I understand cadets. Uh, That doesn't mean that my dislike for cadets is any less, because... I mean, when I say cadets, I'm, I'm talking about the ones that run outside, that RK that do that type of stuff. If you're a cadet that doesn't do that, that type of stuff, I'm not saying I dislike you. And if you're if you're a cadet that does that type of stuff, I'm not saying I dislike you. I just I dislike every aspect of you. 
Um, but let's see. So I joined, and at that point, I did not have Discord. So I was attending events uh, via randomly finding a mass patrol or uh, looking on back then, what was it? It wasn't Exodus. It was the other training center before Exodus. Um, and I would just wait. And if I saw a lot of people on there, I would be like, hey, there's a training going on. And I actually got a lot of honor from that. I got I, I got up to Trooper. No, I got up to Private uh, using that. And then I'm like, well, cool. Uh, and then and then I noticed the Discord. And I'm like, oh, what's this? And so I join it, and had to create a dis like had to create a Discord account, and joined it and. From there, I joined, I, I, I got a lot of XP, uh, I became a enz, an Enzyme, like, March of last year, uh, which was big, it was, I, I was so happy when I became an Enzyme, uh, because, you know, an Enzyme was a big deal, because this was before every single person I encountered was an Enzyme. Um, and I joined the military police, and I loved my time in the military police. I'm actually thinking of creating a podcast where I talk about my time in the middle poli military police, because, you know, it was it was a great group, and I joined it before, like, everybody was in it, because now, like, it seems like there's so many MP, but this was back in the day when it was rare to find a military police on a server, and it was... A very very prestigious rank to be in the military police uh, so I was I was very happy and you know people were like MP and I'm like as you were a soldier it's fine I'm a man as well um, but yeah that was it was fun and I also joined Vanguards I haven't made much progress in the Vanguards and I don't think I'm in it anymore um, I did end up leaving MP and, and, uh, Vanguards for Red Cell, but that'll also be a, uh, another episode. You know, I'm going by a timeline, but, um, yeah, I, I was there, uh, before the reactor, the reactor came out and I was super happy when it came out because it was a new thing. And I was there before before the Reapers, actually. Uh, I was not one of the first Harbingers, but I was I was one in the earlier days of Reaper Battalion because my position in integration, the integration focus, uh, made it so that I could be a Reaper Battalion Harbinger, which was it, it was really cool and. Uh, I got to meet a lot new people, a lot of new people. Uh, actually, the way that I started off my YouTube channel was DM advertising to people who attended my events. Uh, don't get mad at me. I do not DM advertise anymore uh, because of an episode that happened that I will... Uh, I'll explain later on in the video. Um... But, yeah, it, it wasn't pretty. Uh, but those 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 were good old days back then. Uh, I started up my YouTube channel when... Uh, summer of last year, beginning of summer. So that was when I still had my ranks and everything. And uh, my first video was actually a Beast Worm Simulator video on mobile. And second was a ghost simulator video on mobile, and third was a jailbreak simulator video on mobile. And then I believe it was my fourth video where I started doing Grand Crossing videos. And I my first video was... Um, what was it? It was my morphs on the Grand Crossing. And I went through all the morphs like Recon. Oh, I joined Recon 
in the earlier days, and it was great. Moment of peace for the units. All right, that's all. Uh, but yeah, my time in recon was great. I met a lot of amazing people that I went and after it, uh, I went into a group called the Voro Imperial Peacekeepers, which had a bunch of people from recon in it and it kind of kept the group alive and it was, it was great. And I miss recon. And now just regular everyday guys can join recon or can wear the recon morph. And I'm like, all right. Um, but I mean, before they could too. They all they just had to attend a, uh, RTC, RCT, yeah, recruitment recruitment combat training. Uh, but yeah, my days in recon were great. Where was I? Where was I? I was talking about my video, yes. And actually, it's been one of my more successful videos. Uh, recently, like, not recently, but like a um, few months ago, it reached over 10,000 views, which I was super happy about. Uh, it reached over 10,000 along with my Avenger Morph video, which thank you all for that. Uh, that was in the earlier days of the Avenger Morph when uh, flying didn't work. No, flying just began to work. Um, yeah, it's it's been a it's, it's been a great time in the Nighthawk Imperium, and uh, I'm hoping to make a few more videos of like this podcast, Red Cell, like why I left for Red Cell and stuff like that. But but enough of that. We're going on to story time. So I told you before how I would tell you this story about how. I got in trouble for DM advertising, and here's the story. So a while ago, I was DM advertising, and I DM advertised to this guy called XGoff Sharp. His account has been de his Discord account has been deleted, so I'm fairly certain uh, it's okay for me to use this because either he's not using the username anymore, or he dropped out of the Nighthawk Imperium completely. But I DM advertised him, and he was great. He was a loyal member of my group, and he was a friend. And then he got too much power. He re he rose up in the ranks, got to Ensign, you know, joined some focuses, and it was all over. You know those people who get power and use it, I, I don't know, just have feel a need to use it? For little reason. So, this was months after I DM advertised him. He went to me and said, Hey, don't DM advertise again, or else you'll get in trouble. So, I'm like, All right, I don't DM advertise anymore, and I haven't DM advertised for a while, so I don't know where this is coming from. And I guess he took that as a challenge because next thing I know, he contacted X Chrysalis. <clears throat> I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Uh, the Admiral, who at that time was in charge of progression. Uh, and, you know, she's like, hey, it's against the rules to DM advertise. And at that point, I'm like, all right, because I've known that for a while because, you know, I was an SLT, so I knew that DM advertising was a no-no, and um, that, that was a while after I stopped DM advertising. Uh, but, so I'm like, all right, I won't, and she's like, or, or she said before, she's like, um... Don't team advertise or else I'll have to demote you from sub lieutenant. And I'm like, and I kind of thought about it for 10 minutes and I'm like, eh, I have a YouTube channel that I'm working on and I have a whole bunch of other in real life obligations and I wasn't doing real well in sub lieutenant because I wasn't hosting events a lot, and I just, I decided to leave. 
And so I uh, I DM'd her and I'm like, all right, just demote me. I I won't I won't like DM advertise again, but uh, go ahead and demote me. I I can't I can't do my duty. So uh, that's how I got demoted from sub lieutenant the first time. Uh, the second time was just because I didn't host enough events. Uh, but I'm planning on reapplying soon because there's I, I I heard something about a sub lieutenant morph coming out and I want you all to see that so I might join uh the ranks of the sub lieutenants soon. Um, see any other stories? Actually, a recent story. Uh, not that recent, like. Last end of last year, I was on the military police Discord. I was still in military police at that point before leaving, and I was a marshal. And this guy started. He posted my video to the MP chat, and he started being like, "Hey, I believe this breaks the rules." Now this was in my Avenger Morph video, and at that time. I had gotten a hideout, and I switched over to the adventure team, and a bug caused it so that I kept my hideout uh, when I was an adventure. So I had no idea what to do, but a whole bunch of people who were on my Discord, like a lot of people, joined in because this was a long-awaited video. So they came into my hideout, and... Uh, this guy was trying to get me in trouble because I wasn't killing them, and I wasn't killing them because I was outside, and I, I flew right back inside, but I didn't want to start killing the rebels outside because going outside is against the rules, period. I don't want to make it look like I was outside to kill rebels, so I decided not to kill them, and this guy was trying to get me in trouble for not killing them, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, calm down, and I explained myself, and he got a whole bunch of other people involved, uh, constables, inspectors, all of them, they all decided, or he brought them all in on this, and, and, I, uh, yeah, uh, most of them sided with me, but, you know, he had his fair share of supporters, um, and, you know, I, I'm I'm used to lashback in my videos. If I had if I had a dime for each time somebody said commented you went outside in the Rangers morph in your morph video. Now keep in mind this video this morph video, I'm still getting comments about going outside and that was over a year ago when I was still not that uh, I'm, I made a mistake, and it was caught on video, but I'm still getting comments about that from officers and stuff, like new officers, that were not, not even Enzymes when I made that video. They were cadets when I made that video. And I'm getting DM or not DMs, I'm getting comments from them saying, hey, you know, I can punish you for this going outside, and I'm like, calm down. This was over a year ago. I mean, the, the, seriously, man. And I did make a mistake. I'll admit it right now. I made a mistake. And at that point, I was making a lot of mistakes because I was new military police. And I knew everything. And I made some mistakes. And, you know, I'm sorry for that. But if you're listening right now and you you were planning on commenting something about that... Don't. Um, so, I'm just going to hit upon another point at the end of this video. I said that this was the first Grand Crossing podcast. It sort of is. Uh, the actual Nighthawk Imperium has a podcast, sort of, but it's more of a live stream. Uh, I mean, it, it was a live stream, but like Q&A. So, I, I guess a podcast. Um, but this is the first, like, non... 
Nighthawk sanctioned podcast. So yay. Uh, I do want to be a part of that Nighthawk podcast. So I think it would be really cool if, you know, they had a Grand Crossing YouTuber on it. And, and yeah, it would be really cool. So if you actually like find one of their podcast videos, why don't you go and comment? You should bring Devin Erko in to be on this podcast as well. You know, I need some support. Um, also, I have a new group called the Imperium Romanum. It's a Rome group which is going to be like a city roleplay. Uh, it is different from any other Rome groups because I've never been a part of a Rome group. I just, I studied Roman history and Roman battle strategy and decided, hey, I kind of want to make a group about this. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working with developers and trying to find some developers. If you're a developer, uh, join the Discord down below. And if you're just a regular person, join the Discord in the group down below. And uh, But if you're a developer, DM me on Discord and say, Hey, I'm interested in working, uh, developing for you. And I'll be like, okay, cool fam. Uh, and then I'll test you and you can uh, develop for me if you're good enough. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, join the group down in the description, and also subscribe if you're new, and like, and comment down below, uh, what, if you want to see this podcast more, and what should I include in future podcasts, uh, because I'm interested in knowing, uh, what you'd like to watch, uh, I, I hope this podcast was successful, and if it was, remember, comment and subscribe, and like, and also join the Discord because I shout when I'm recording other videos on there. Uh, I tried to record another video yesterday, but my computer was too laggy. Uh, I do not have any money for a new computer, so I'm hoping the Rome group can take off and I can get donations because I'm trying to get up to uh, 100,000 Robux to use in the developer exchange. And, you know, save up for a new laptop so that I can continue making good videos uh, when I'm at college. Or start making good videos because, uh, let's face it, my videos are kind of laggy lately. Uh, because my computer's getting old and not running as well as it... Well, it never really ran that well. But, you know... Yeah, I kind of want to make better videos. So if you can just do that for me, that would be great. I also want to gain monetization because that could help me pay for a new laptop and pay for college. So go and subscribe and tell your friends about this because, you know, I think this is a great idea, a podcast, and I'll try to do this uh, weekly. I'll try. Uh, I may run out of content, who knows, uh, but also comment down below what podcasts you want me to make in the future and what games you want me to make videos on in the future, because I'm not sure what game I should make videos on, because, you know, the Grand Crossing is fine, uh, but I ran out of content for it, because it's not like it's updated very regularly, I mean, the last update was Combat Engineers, I believe. Was it? I believe I made a video for the last update. And it was at the beginning of this year, so it's been a long, long time. But I really hope that there's a lot more content for me to make videos on in the future. Um, if you're a developer for The Grand Crossing, why don't you, you know, contact me and give me some inside information that I can have. And maybe I'll uh, share it in a new podcast, uh, you know. And I really hope that I'll be invited to be a part of that TNI podcast. Because, you know, I think it would be cool. And uh, I think a lot of people would enjoy if I was on the podcast. But anyways, uh, we've hit about our time. 
So remember, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And uh, this is where I'm going to end it. See you guys later.